So here is our reservoir and our filter and the pump. And here's the motor that drives the pump. And we have a two position directional control valve over here with a spring offset. Now this spring offset ensures that uh, when you're not actively pumping reservoir liquid up, the DCV will be in position number two. And this valve over here is not required, so let's uh, mark it with a big, big red X. And now let's go over here and turn this handle. The, well, you know, but first we better make this picture a little bit smaller. Okay, let's do that. There we go, it's smaller now. That's good. And let's turn the handle. Like so. And notice it shifts over to position number one. Let's do that again. It was like this, and then shifts over like this, and then turn the handle up, it shifts over to position number one. So now it's in line with the pump, and fluid shoots up into the single action cylinder over here through its valve at the cap end. Now, we need to rearrange these objects a little bit so we can have a room. So, all this needs to be smaller again. So, we make it smaller. And this needs to be flipped uh, counterclockwise 90 degrees, like so, and moved here, and then connected up here. Now, this has to be even smaller. Get rid of these thick lines, like so. And this single action cylinder has to be angled like so. Now let's move it down the tad like so. And again when I turn that handle fluid is pumped up and into this cap area. That rod now moves up and up and anything sitting on top of it over here will also start moving up. Really? Uh, like what? Well, like the load of a dump truck. Hmm. Well, tell me something. After you move this up, how does this all get back down? We'll discuss that in the next lesson, a little bit at a time. Bye-bye now.